Predation is one of the most significant problems for the sheep and goat industry in Texas. It's reported that we lose somewhere between 10 and 20 percent of the lamb and kid crop annually in Texas. Because of this significant loss, Texas A&M AgriLife Research and Extension is working with local ranchers to um, understand and improve our understanding of livestock guardian dogs and how they work in, in this part of Texas. To do this, we had six cooperating ranchers um, spread across the central and western part of the state. Um, these cooperating ranchers had no livestock guard dog experience. Uh, they have had significant predator issues in the past and they operate on large pasture size operations ranging in 500 to 2500 acre pastures. Uh, they receive between two and four uh, livestock guardian dogs at the beginning of 2016. These dogs were sourced from 5R stock dogs out of Billings, Montana, and the dogs were 6 to 12 months of age. They were placed with a group of sheep and we monitored them uh, throughout 2016. Uh, what we found in this project were that 50% of the operators saw that the dogs were having a significant impact in improving their lamb crop within the first year. We used GPS collars to track the dogs, uh, their, their movements, and what we found is the dogs uh, averaged about two and a half miles a day uh, of travel, uh, and that ranged from a mile and a half to three and a half miles, uh, depending on the dog, depending on the pasture size. We also looked into the home range of the dogs and the average home range, which is 95% of where they spend their time, uh, was averaged out to about 600 acres per dog. We also used uh, game cameras to monitor predators and there appears to be a reduction in the traffic of predators within pastures where guardian dogs are and there does not appear to be a, a big impact of other wildlife that are non-predatory wildlife. So with this project we found that, that livestock guardian dogs in large pasture-based, large country pasture-based operations can be a useful tool uh, but not all dogs work and we're going to continue to increase our understanding through multiple projects that we have uh, planned here in San Angelo at the Texas A&M AgriLife Research and Extension Center.